Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the newest Super Smash Brother Amiibo figures from Nintendo. We have Joker from Persona 5 and then Hero from the Dragon Quest franchise. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I can't remember the last time I even touched Smash Brothers. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm just buying these Amiibo out of habit at this point in completion's sake. Um, because I have all of the other ones up until this point, so I'm, they keep making them, I guess I'm going to keep buying them. I don't even really know either of these two characters. I mean, obviously I've heard of Dragon Quest, and this is just generic hero, and he looks good. And I really don't know this guy at all. I mean, when I hear Joker, I think either Batman or Kamen Rider Double, I'll be honest. So, <laughs> I really don't have any familiarity with these. Um, but that's not to say they're not good-looking Amiibo. I mean, Nintendo makes a nice product, and these look really neat. So, uh, just because I'm not really familiar with the characters doesn't mean they're not going to be nice products. But I just want to kind of admit that out the, out the gate, just because <laughs> I feel like while I'm opening these and reviewing them, I'm not going to have a lot of interesting tidbits about these franchises, because I don't really know anything about them. So, one to clear the air. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so uh, again, looks cool. I like it. Um, again, not familiar with the character at all, but I like the kind of blue effect piece that he's kind of perched on. I think that looks really, really neat. Uh, packaging, of course, artwork looks great. Uh, just kind of shows the switch. And I don't know why they're still showing off the 3DS on the back of these things. I mean, you know, the 3DS is, is gone. Can we let it rest? <laughs> I feel like at this point there's really no reason to keep touting the 3ds i don't really think anyone's playing it anymore maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong and don't get me wrong it it did a great job for a large amount of time but i think we can we can let it rest now uh moving on to hero um i think it's just kind of a and i don't think this is supposed to be any specific hero from any specific dragon quest game maybe i'm wrong again i feel like it's just kind of a hero in the style of the dragon quest games Again, could be wrong, because I really don't know what I'm talking about. Just wildly speculating. Uh, but in any case, uh, artwork on the card, very, very cool. It's just kind of fun to have new Amiibo, because it's been a very long time since we've gotten new Amiibo. I'm trying to think the last ones that we got. Uh, I can't even remember. In the summer sometime, maybe? I want to say like June or July. I honestly don't remember. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start opening these so we can take a closer look. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and we'll start over here with Joker. Um, I just have like a little box cutter here that I usually use. Go ahead and get these open. This is the point in the video where I usually just say, if you're handling a knife, just be careful. I say that to anyone. This video is meant for collectors, and even collectors can accidentally cut themselves. I've done it before. I like to use a box cutter just uh, because I like to keep the cards. That's just me personally. I mean, if you really don't care, by all means, just rip it open and have fun. But I personally can't do that, and it kind of freaks me out to watch other people do it. But again, enjoy your toy how you see fit. So again, artwork, pretty cool. Gonna go ahead and pop this out of here. And we will release him. All right, so moving this off to the side. So let's go ahead, we'll take a quick look at Joker. Nicely done, I gotta say. However many years they've been putting these out, uh, the quality never really dips. I think they do a really nice job. They're always very nicely detailed and painted. It's always very sharp paint. If we take a look at that mask, Really nicely detailed and painted there. Even have the little buttons going down his jacket and his blade. And like I said, I really like that blue flame effect. It's very, very cool. Alright, next up we will open Hero. There we go. That one seemed to go a little bit easier for some reason. But again, here is the artwork. Very cool, so I'm going to take both of these and put them off to the side. Oh, 
I always have to be careful because I'm afraid that like some part of it's going to be stuck in here when I go to rip this off. I'm going to like snap it off the base. I've never actually done that, but it's always a fear that I have. <laughs> Probably irrational, but better safe than sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Hero. Uh, color's very bright, very fun. I think it's funny that he's Joker, but he's rocking the purple and green. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here is the sword. Very nicely detailed. Very nicely painted. Very, very cool there. And just like the, the way they can kind of convey like texture and everything with all the detailing. It never ceases to amaze me. I mean, look at the pants. Like that's just so beautifully sculpted. Shield looks good. I gotta be honest with the haircut, he's reminding me of uh, Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Scabbard on the back looks very nice. So just all around, I mean, really, really nicely detailed. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, even when I'm not familiar with the characters, I still buy them because they're nice pieces. I mean, they really do a really nice job when it comes to designing and sculpting and painting these like i'm never disappointed so i mean that's pretty much it for this uh unboxing slash mini review but i recommend them i mean like i said i feel like you're never disappointed with amiibo even if you really don't know what game they're from they're great i mean they really really look nice uh i know banjo kazooie's in the next run so i'm very excited for that i love banjo kazooie really wanted him in smash for a while so very excited they're getting an Amiibo. Um, I think there's a couple other ones, right? I think Terry and I feel like there's another one that I'm forgetting right now. But uh, I think that's going to be sometime next year. So the amount of time between releases is definitely getting longer. But I recommend these two. I think they look great. Very nice. Very beautiful. Paint application, sculpting, detail, all of it. You can't go wrong with Amiibo. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.